Hi everybody, it's Kim with Card Creations by Kim.blogspot.com and I made another Valentine's card, but this one's a little different than what I've been doing. It's a lot of stamping and um, on my last video I used this Avocado Arts uh, stamp set and it actually does not have a specific name to the stamp set, but it's all like a Valentine's theme and then there's some other stuff in here as well. Um, so let's get started on this. What I did was I used the David Nutera pre-cut. They're not, yeah, they're pre-cut. They're they're punched, and I I did another video on these showing all the different punch designs that they did. So um, I I really like the cardstock value. Value? Hmm. Well, you know what I mean. It's a good cardstock. <laughs> All right, so on this particular one here, I dropped my stamp acrylic block as I was stamping, so it's smeared a little. So we're gonna to try to avoid that from happening again. Now, what I like about this stamp set, if I could just take a minute, is for what we're gonna do here, is you have these um, hearts here that you can actually stamp these things inside. And I just think that is so cute. There's a you are sweet, be mine hugs and love ya. And then I'm going to be using that stamp and that stamp as well. All right. <clears throat> now I'm going to use the XOXO. And I'm going to put that right across the bottom with my stays on ink. And I'm going to ink this up real good. Because of the intricate X's and O's, sometimes if you're not pushing down hard enough, it doesn't get stamped on all of them, inked on all of them. I'm going to wipe this off so it doesn't get on my pad here. And I'm going to put that right down at the bottom. Now I'm going to bring this forward a little bit so that I can see it better and get it on there as even as possible. I'm pushing real hard. Like I said, it's got some intricate X's and O's, and that is good. Now with the stays on, um, typically I use my stamp cleaner, not just a, a baby wipe. But um, I will go back and do that. All right, now I'm going to take my jar stamp and I'm going to ink it up with some black and I'm going to actually put one on the card sort of in the middle at an angle and be using that as my guide as to where I'm going to put the one that I cut out. Now what I did was I stamped this on a piece of paper and then I hand cut it out. Now, Avocado Arts does have die cut that you can buy, but I don't have the right machine for what's compatible to them. Um, I think you can use your silhouette if you have a silhouette, but I haven't purchased one yet. Really, really want one, but get that block out of the way. Um, <sighs> that's a whole other story. Anyway, so let's start stamping our little hearts. Get my red again, and really, you know, it's just random here and there. Whoops, pick that up by mistake. So, you know, do one here, I'll do one up here, uh, maybe one down here, and then I'll do some little ones as well. And I need to save room for my sentiment up there. So put one here. Gosh, um, how about right here? One right here would be kind of cute. My whole idea is to make it look like it's kind of, you know, spewing out of the, the jar. Not sure if I'm accomplishing that, but I don't want to go too crazy with the hearts. Okay, and then I want to put some little ones in there. 
This little one is adorable. And it just kind of fills up the space of the card. Lots of hearts. Lots of love. You know, and we could even do one inside one of these as well. And I'll do one up in this corner here. All right, and last but not least, I love this little heart with the arrow. I'm just going to add one of those right up here in the corner because I'm actually running out of room. Clean that up. Okay, now we're going to put, I wish my acrylic box was a little cleaner. The stays on stains it. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put my little sentiments. And I put it right on the edge. This one says love ya. I'm just using my black memento. And how about another one right here? Put that aside. This one says hugs. That one looks like it might just barely fit, so we'll do that. This one says, you are sweet. That one's a little bit bigger of a one, so I'm going to put that one here. And here as well. And then I need one for inside there, so let's do be mine. Good. That one's empty. Let's see if we can put something inside there. This is the love ya. Cute. I love the stamp set. All right, now before I put, oh, I got to do my Happy Valentine's Day sentiment. Oh, putting it on backwards. Silly me. I'm just following the line that's on the acrylic block. You know what's cool about these stamps too? Is I'm sure you can do these with others as well, but you can bend it. Ta-da! But for this one I'm gonna do it straight. I'm using my black memento ink again. And right there. All right, now for this, I was watching Creations with Christina. She wasn't using this stamp set. She was using um, a different stamp set. I think it was Stampin' Up. Um, I saw her how she wrapped the twine, the twine around the cutout. I thought it was adorable. So I'm copying Creations with Christina love love her videos and love love her creations she's so inspiring to me she was actually one of the very first youtube demos that i ever watched she's had me hooked since then okay so i'm going to put that there and let's go ahead and close up our ink thing so i don't stick my elbow in it get the pop dots I'm going to go ahead and put quite a few on. And these are just actually recollection pop dots, and I buy these either when they're 40% off or if I have a coupon. I like them. I've used others, which are fine, um, but I don't typically not able to get them on sale because I use a lot of these. I don't like how that popped out of sticking out. Just give it a little snip. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to place this right over like this. And I just feel like having that outline makes a difference. 
So, all right, so that is my very simple lots of stampin' going on card. All right, we're getting there. I think this is my sixth one. I'm determined to make 12, so there you go. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.